Once upon a time, in a kingdom nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there ruled a wise and benevolent king. He had two sons, each with their own dreams and aspirations that echoed the desires of their hearts. The eldest son, named Marcus, possessed an insatiable thirst for adventure and exploration. He yearned to see the world beyond the kingdom's borders, to taste the sweetness of freedom and wanderlust. So, he approached his father, the king, with a request for wealth to fund his grand escapades. The king, with a heavy heart yet unwavering love for his son, granted Marcus his wish. With a bag heavy with gold and silver, Marcus set forth on his journey, eager to chase his dreams. Meanwhile, the youngest son, named Oliver, found solace in the familiar embrace of the kingdom. He had a deep sense of duty and responsibility, understanding the weight of the crown that would one day rest upon his shoulders. The king, recognizing Oliver's dedication, entrusted him with the task of managing the kingdom in his absence. Years passed, and Marcus traversed distant lands, his pockets overflowing with riches. He reveled in the luxuries of foreign cities, tasted exotic cuisines, and danced under the stars of far-off skies. But as the years wore on, the glimmer of his wealth began to fade, leaving him empty-handed and yearning for the comforts of home. With a heavy heart and pockets turned inside out, Marcus returned to the kingdom, his spirit humbled by the harsh realities of the world. To his surprise, he was welcomed with open arms by his father, who organized a grand feast in celebration of his return. As Marcus basked in the warmth of his father's embrace, Oliver's heart swelled with jealousy. He couldn't fathom why his brother, who had squandered his wealth in pursuit of fleeting pleasures, was being celebrated while he toiled tirelessly to uphold the kingdom's legacy. Sensing Oliver's unrest, the king took him aside and spoke with gentle wisdom. My dear son, he said, I understand your feelings, but know this, my love for you and Marcus is equal. Each of you has chosen a different path, but both paths are valid in their own right. The king's words resonated deeply with Oliver, and he realized that his father's love transcended material wealth and worldly accomplishments. It was a love rooted in acceptance, understanding, and unwavering support. As the feast continued into the night, Oliver found solace in the knowledge that he was cherished and valued by his father, regardless of the paths he chose to walk. And in that moment, amidst the laughter and music that filled the air, he discovered the true measure of a father's love, a love that sees beyond success and failure, embracing each child for who they are, and guiding them with boundless affection toward their own unique destinies.